Welcome back to Escape to Reality. What up? I'm Justine and I'm Geneva. Just two friends who go over reality TV that we love to watch and any and we will just watch most Bravo mainstream Bravo TV shows and also the Jersey Shore which we're super excited to talk about today because Absolutely. we're huge Jersey Shore fans. Hope you guys are too. And uh, we also started 90 Day Fiance, which will be a little off skirt of the Escape to Reality brand, if you must say. (laughs) So uh, we just are TV lovers who give it to you. It's amazing. Just the way we would talk about it. Yeah, it's amazing that we get anything else in our lives done. I feel like <laughs> I just watch I so know. much television. It's sad. It's really sad. We're, we're right but if you're sad like it. us, we're here for you. <laughs> so, yeah, we're not alone. Um, yeah. So, yeah, as Justine said, you know, we're going to talk about all random things, but, you know, big reality TV focus. Um, but so that you get to know us a little bit, so you understand the minds behind the voices. Uh, we've been doing Vogue 73 questions, and we're almost done, we promise. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and so I'm going to start with you, Justine. Pilates or yoga? Yoga. Oh, I would yeah, go yeah. Pilates. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're such a basic Californian. Yoga. I love um, hot yoga. Oh, yeah. Okay, coffee or tea? Coffee. Who the fuck is going to pick tea? Okay, um, what's the weirdest word in the English language? Pussy. <laughs> okay. Dark or milk chocolate? <laughs> milk, baby. Stairs or elevator? Stairs. Look at you. I getting ain't your, no fat ass. I'm getting your steps in. Okay, that's all I got for you. That was rapid fire this time. Yeah, you know. Uh, summer or winter? Summer all day. Yeah. You are stuck on an island. You can pick one food to eat forever without getting tired of it. What would you eat? Pizza. Yeah, t- totally. A dessert you don't like? Mm. I don't like actually, honestly, a really intense chocolatey thing. Like over the top, I can only have a few bites. I prefer something I can. Finish. Yeah, yeah. A skill you're working on mastering. Uh, cooking, I think. I mean, I don't yeah. think you can ever be a master, but I love trying new things and developing the the skills in the kitchen. We're gonna see you and beat Bobby Flay. Yeah. And uh, best thing to happen to you today, other than this. Um, <laughs> my boss saying you can leave at 3 p.m. today. Oh shit! Oh my god! And then I it made you wait. That's crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. All, all right. right. All right. Thanks for playing. Yeah. Um. So next we're gonna do a little celeb gossip. You're gonna lead us through, correct? Yes. Here we go into what you Justine's got. genie gossip corner. <laughs> 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 Smooth. Number one. Kristen Cavallari's show, Very Cavallari, picked up for season two. Hell yeah, I didn't see that. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm excited about that. I'll watch it all day. Preview for next week. Kristen looks pissed. Oh, she looks um, like she comes the old Kristen. The redhead, like not even. Like this is real. This is amazing. This oh, is yeah, what we've been looks- waiting for, people. Yeah. yeah, maybe from, yeah, not not the hills, but Laguna Beach. Because mm-hmm. was the hills scripted, but was Laguna Beach wasn't scripted, or was it? Did, were they admitting to it all? Um, I think both were scripted. They were filmed the exact same, so to me, I think they were both scripted. Oh, my God. Yeah. What's her name, the redhead? Shannon. Shannon. She dropped the ball, and you couldn't click a link on the home goods, and it was on opening day, you know, and she flips out, and the, it's going to be good. So Yeah. I love yeah. that. That's great news. Yeah. Number two, we all know this, blah, blah, blah. Ben Affleck. I just mm. have to follow the story. He's in rehab. So- Jennifer Gardner's a saint. She hands him the jack-in-the-box food, but doesn't want to look at his fat face. I just love her so much, you know? Can I just say, I've, I've been thinking it was interesting, like, you kept bringing up Ben Affleck, and I was like, where, where is this story going? And now, it totally he's makes sense. Top he's top news. He's spiraling. He's spiraling. Yeah, look at me. I really scented the fox. <laughs> you I am like a hound dog just looking for blood, and I got some. It's you crazy. You really did. I know. You yeah. Got the, you got the keen eye for the stories that are going to blow up. So now... yeah. 
last episode we were talking about our celebrity rehab cast um there he is he's added he's He's added on and i also add on um ariana grande's boyfriend pete davidson because he's going to be on there too soon with that dyed blonde hair he's one he's one drink away yeah. Um, wait, so can you imagine Dorinda and Ben Affleck in Celebrity Rehab? I would die. That would be amazing. That um, would be amazing. Oh, I have a story about you bring up some, a housewife, actually. Okay. Well, this is from a... I heard, I heard this kind of secondhand. It was a blind item on NaughtyGossip.com. And it says that um, Dorinda and John, they said a, a housewife... And then they specified New York City housewife. And then they specified Dorinda um, likes to dress up like a toy soldier or a clown. And he masturbates. Shut the fuck up. That's not yes. real. That's, That's not real. That's what they said. So no. I don't know. That's what they said. So Do you know what I, I could immediately... see that. I could picture it. Do you know what I immediately think of? The Remember nutcracker? How, yes. How this season Dorinda was obsessed with this nutcracker. It would make sense, wouldn't it? So, you know, it's funny, but oh that's God. what they said. I could see it like a sexy toy soldier, like a rocket, I guess okay. is the word. Uh, the weirder one is the clown. Like, I could see maybe a toy soldier. I could but see a how clown? a clown could get clown? you going. Stop. What are you, it? Yeah, you know, that's crazy. Uh, it is freaky. I'll never watch that movie. I still you, haven't. You so. didn't see the remake? It was terrifying. No, if you have no, watch no, it no, I'm not going to watch it. I don't need to no. fill my brain with that stuff. I fill my brain with Bravo. Yeah. All right. So anyway, yes. and uh, also, I just love. Um, I've become a lover of Kyler Kylie Jenner. Now, this is what I was told that there is. She's a billionaire company, a billion dollar company. She mm-hmm. owns a hundred percent of this company, which is extremely rare, I guess. And mm-hmm. she supposedly started with her own money that she made from modeling from American Eagle and Pacific Sunwear to. I guess inventing this lip kit, then reinvent, reinvesting, reinvesting her own money. Mm. So that's where they come up with this whole self-made, you know, stuff. I mean, okay, like self-made, but like also the exposure <clears throat> she received from being from that yeah. family is worth billions of dollars. Like she literally has had to do no marketing. If you're, yeah. if you're some person from fucking Ontario or some shit who's trying to start a business, did you see you the video? I mean? Did you see the video of her stopping when she saw? Uh, Nicki Minaj. Minaj. I would do the same thing. I would. Yeah. <laughs> I would want to deal with it. No. She looks cute not. with that short blonde hair. I really like her lately. I don't know. Their hair must be fucked up. They dye it so Can much. Can you like, imagine oh, what they put God. that through? No. So anyway, so um, Travis Scott said that Kylie Jenner is a a meal, not a snack. I, I thought that, that was comment. just so romantic, you know. <laughs> Did you? That's love in 2018. Love <laughs> snack on Yo, an baby. Instagram comment. You a meal, not a snack. I'd be like, oh, I love you so much, baby. Thank you. That's like so sweet. You, I like you have a sweet southern accent there. <laughs> so. I feel like Kylie Jenner has a southern accent, even though she's from L.A. Madonna style. All of a sudden gets yeah. like a British accent. Um, so, you got anything those else? Those are my stories for okay. for today. Do you have anything? I like that. You know what? I don't. Um, I was going to bring up the Ben Affleck thing, but you beat me to it. So I think. You know, I already got always got him on the, the You always got him on the brain. Um, all right. So let's move to Jersey Shore. J- so Jersey, Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. Cabs Jersey, here. Jersey. Um, that was a terrible Jersey accent. Um, Jersey Shore came back. <laughs> it is family vacation and they are in Las Vegas. Wow. Um, so they all come together. Ronnie has um, the biggest smile I've ever seen when they walk in. Oh, my God. Ronnie with the baby. I mean, he I have so much to say about. very happy with the I, baby. You know? I have so much to say about this Ronnie situation. Um, they first showed Ronnie and Jen, which is his baby mama, a uh, baby shower. And the, the crew, did you see the crew at the baby shower? They looked like a fucking, it was like a mob meeting. They look, it did not look like a baby shower. It literally looked like a gathering of organized crime. You think so, Sammy is prettier than her yes 100 percent. you don't i was never a fan of sammy i mean i don't find sammy like i wouldn't be like oh my god sammy's gorgeous but this girl to me seems like uh her face is a little puffy if you will like yeah you're right she's always fucking with it like inches all around Um, yeah you're right you're right you're exactly right Polly D is just the sweetest little soul when he, he meets is. the baby. He I was the just like, thing oh in the my entire God. world. So cute. Oh my God. I just love him so much. Oh, he I is just too. the sweetest thing. I can't believe it. I never felt that way about him and just I didn't until either. recently, but I he's changed. I want to see him 
get with a nice woman. I was disappointed that they went and banged women. We'll talk about that later, but that's okay. I get it. I get it. But I I liked how Polly seemed like he was stri- striving for um, a really nice girl, and I thought we were going to get like a newlywed oh. spinoff for them off of that. In know? Vegas? That's like in three how years. How old is he going to be, you know? He's like going to be 55 here soon. He's sneaky. He's a man, though. You know what I mean? Men can be old and settle yeah, down, and it's like attractive. So. Um, so. It gets too old at a certain point. Like John Stamos, you, you passed it. You know, your kid's going to be eighty-five when I, know. I mean, you're going to be eighty-five. You're going to be dead. I, I don't know. It's just crazy. These people having kids so late. Yeah, they um, tell they give updates on everybody. Everybody's like same shit. But Jenny has a two-year-old <laughs> son who can't speak, which. It's so heartbreaking. I feel so sad. Um, And she's like pissed because they didn't like. Why did he give him the even the the video? Like, why did her husband Roger say, you know, nobody did it. I'm not going to even tell her about it then or something. I don't know. Well, probably because or maybe because the other family did it, too. Oh, so everybody just not the jersey shore family yeah i don't think it yeah it was just mike sending a video to, to, no no to no yeah. on, okay on okay okay Day. it was like everybody okay yeah um i thought so they mentioned that ronnie was absentee from the group chat which i feel like is 2018 for he's in crisis um you know when somebody goes ghost on the group chat something's happening he's uh um, yeah he's but the trouble. baby is just so cute it looks exactly like ronnie she a little is a chubby adorable. little adorable angel he Holly really had a genuine D. smile Right? He seemed Both very of them. happy. It was yeah. a very sweet moment. I wonder I how big Polly's penis is because Vinny's is supposed to be like an anaconda, you know? Oh, I forgot about that. It's just I think normal. It's a little creepy that they still like fuck right next to each other. Room. Yes, I th- I like, have so many. Yeah. Well, I really want to know your thoughts on that. Okay. It's too many noises and smells and disgusting shit going on. I don't know. It's weird. I don't I mean, know. I just at like, a certain point. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's like it's twenty. It, it, you're you're what thirty five years old, and like you could get you could get your own rooms. Like, why doesn't MTV give them their own rooms? What the hell? They probably do. It I, I mean, I get it, but it's just like yeah. there wasn't there a smush room too. I don't know. I was missing Dina. I need Dina. I, I didn't know I did, but she brings some type of like lightness to the situation. If you know, she what I does. Mean drunk i don't feel like sober she brings much i missed her i missed it i i think there was missing another girl it's not gonna be angelina and maybe it should be sam like get over it sam you can't be with ronnie what's her face banged Vinny. i mean i guess they didn't have a relationship but i don't know i wish she would be on the show yeah the crew arrives in las vegas um they're staying at i think the palms and they have a suite of course because like Polly. yeah they call snooki and they're like hey come snooki snooki's like yeah sure yeah, like, be right yeah, there. Okay. That was so there's fake. a cameraman in her house yeah so they arrive there um like you said dina's not there um so it's just the the dudes and snooki and jay wow and um, so she's just pregnant so she couldn't come or like why can't I mean, she just i wouldn't be really pregnant? But Vegas, like Vegas, all I Vegas guess, is, is yeah. drinking. You know? But what's his face has to be sober. Who? But I guess he eats. He he's a unique oh. sober individual. He like just parties, mics the situation. You know. Well, I he's think sober, food. but he's just like different. Yeah, as a drug. Huh? Well, we have to talk about that too. Ronnie is the key to this whole show to me because without Ronnie's really? drama, you don't think so? Without Ronnie's drama, I think the show would be half as good. Because they yeah. all have to yeah. talk about it. He brings a lot of like, I mean, think about it, the whole it's last always season. been Ronnie, always. but even the whole always the whole time. I know. Yeah. The entire show. I just think he especially with the reboot, like without this drama, it's a show of them kind of getting drunk, maybe hooking up with some people. But like, yeah, you know, you're right. Just, there needs to be a head case. There has to be. And he is yeah. a perfect head case. He seems like he needs case. to be a medicine. I feel bad for him at this point. Oh, my God. So especially since and- there's a daughter involved. Yeah, so him and the girlfriend obviously are not in a good uh, space. If anyone hasn't seen it, you just got to Google it. They got in some crazy fights. They were all over Instagram. Dragging each other in cars and stuff. Oh, God, that poor baby. Baby Um, was in the car. Baby was in the car. So this is like before I think that incident happened, right? So um, so Ronnie and his girlfriend are in fighting, whatever. It's all documented over Instagram. But then he arrives acting like a complete saint and saying like nothing to the roommates. And then Jenny, Wow says that she's been talking to his baby moms on the side. And Ronnie does not know. 
What do you I didn't think see about that coming. That? What do you think about that? Do you think she should be talking to her if they're friends? Like if she's friends with Ronnie? It seemed odd. It was odd that she was like, she's not my friend. It's like, well, then why are you talking to her? She thinks she's, she's your friend. I don't know. It was weird. I thought it was weird, too. And like, I feel like the the what's her name? Jen. Ronnie's. She's manipulative. Well, something. she seems like a psycho. She seems like somebody if me and you were out downtown. Like at a bar, yeah. she'd be the type of yeah. person we would get into a verbal altercation with. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's the like, girl that when Munch and I went to the movies, wouldn't move over one seat so that we couldn't sit there. She won't move her seat at the movie theater. Right, right, she's right. Not she's, moving. Right. She's like an indignant asshole. Like that's the vibe yeah. I get from her. Hundred yeah, percent. She's got her bottle and don't look at her man. It's mm. crazy. She she's seems like crazy. A complete and Polly's calling person. it out. Oh my god! And then what's she doing when she's watching this? Like they're all just like trashing her. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, it's a terrible situation, that poor kid. And I honestly like Ronnie, I do not excuse any of his past behavior because he can be a fucking asshole. But like, I feel bad for him in this situation because he's like trapped and they're in a terrible situation. I feel bad for both of them because it's mm-hmm. not a good vibe at all. It's like terrible. Well, she's crazy, too. She's like probably hormonal and going crazy. And she's like answering the phone and hanging up. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. She's she's that type of person. She's the type of person. Say he was out. And on Instagram, he, like, put a photo he was at a club. She would immediately call him 90,000 times. Again, oh again, deny. You know what I mean? She's that type of person. It's not a good situation. Um, he also, Ronnie sometimes looks like he's on something to me. Sometimes he, like, shakes oh, his yeah, he's drugged leg. Oh, yeah, he's And, like, yeah, he seems he's, out of it. Oh, he's out. Yeah, yeah, he's out. Um, they go out. They go out for a he's night out. flying and- high in the sky. Oh, yeah. He is. Um, they go out for the night and Wow ends up falling asleep. This is my favorite line of the episode. Uh, Snooki <laughs> looks at her and says, did Bill Cosby drug you? Which is absolutely amazing. I mean, her, I can't believe only one roommate did it. I mean, somebody could have did it. I mean, I can't believe Polly. They all just like, I don't know. I what guess maybe it wasn't the video. Like Wow at dinner that night. That's why oh. she got so drunk. You know, she was just sitting there nervously drinking. Yeah. I'm surprised. She should have just really told him how upset she was. You know, she kind of. I do feel. Snooki, I bet they'll though. watch it now and see. Yes. She should have talked to Snooky alone and said, hey, why didn't you send the video by themselves? Like, right. Why? I mean, I'm the type of person that I can't keep anything in. If, it, if it's bothering me, I just got to say it. I get Snooky, though, when she said she gets a text. You do. I do this sometimes where you get a text. Oh, like, yeah. Fuck, yeah. I don't want to deal with this right I completely now. think that happened to every single person. Like, texts yeah. are the worst things. Like. He should have texted him twice or called him and bothered him if he, you know. Right. If he knew it was going to irritate her, he should have followed up. If he was, it was going to be a big deal. I mean, they should have just did it. But in this day and age, people get a hundred million texts. People are busy. You know, it is hard. Yeah. But I did feel bad for her. She's just, she's just going through a rough time with her kid, I think. Yeah. Because I feel bad. I have a two year old who talks in like complete sentences, you know, and the fact that he doesn't speak at all is going to be really heart wrenching. Yeah, but um, hopefully he'll just snap out of it. I think some kids might just one day they just start talking. I hope that's the case for her. So Polly D and Vinny hook up with these Canadian chicks. Like I feel like if it's twenty eighteen and you're yeah. sleeping with one of them, you want to be on television, right? Like and they yeah, I thought the same thing. Like their faces were not blurred. No, nope. they were ready for it. They were down for the action, and they were not shy or any types of shame no, at I all. I guarantee you they have an Instagram account right now. <laughs> they were pretty. The one was really pretty with Vinny, I thought. I didn't see really... I couldn't get a good look at the other one. She didn't look But cute. she kind of wanted to screw um, the sitch, it looked like. Yeah. She kept saying, we want you, we want you. And it's like, because that's the first time this ever happened, I think. <laughs> well, in in modern times, yeah. Agreed. He looked horrible in that blue and white shirt. I, I just like have a soft spot in my heart for him now. He just like I do. I, I do but, love him. I know. But he his outfits are fucking shirt. terrible. The outfits yeah. are so bad. It looks like he's at Old Navy. Um, speaking of the situation, I love when he was talking about how he has one cheat day a week. He was like, yeah, I have one cheat day a week, three to five times a week. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was wondering that. I'm like, oh, my God, there's no way because he but he isn't heavy looking really that much heavier for everything he eats. Is he it's finishing the, all that food it, or just tasting it? I don't know. It's definitely part of his recovery is like to to replace the feeling with food because he gets so much joy. I love eating, we but like need he to, gets so much joy. He must maybe it's stress too or something. No, it's definitely they should like, make a show 
with him eating. I want to watch him eat the food, though. I want to see him I eat agree. it. I agree. See he how much a- he can take down. Oh God, he should have a show on Food Network. Yes. I would yes. Watch I, I would watch, watch it. it in a heartbeat. I would, too. Oh, my God. Um, Hello, Food Network. So good. I think this is going to be a great season. I think uh, I Ronnie, do like it. As long as everybody stays happy, there's some dark undertone, you know. Uh, well, the Ronnie shit's going to get real dark. But I guess there always is with the Jersey Shore. Do you, you find know? Vinny attractive? No. I don't either. No. I, Especially I after the way he treated the hairdresser. Oh, yeah. I don't like that shit. Yeah. And I find... Okay. So now... Do pe- do guys do that? They just like are guys really still this animalistic? I guess like you're hammered, you're just screwing each other like right next to each other like that in the bed. I thought that was <coughs> very. I don't are know. they wearing they're, condoms? I, they have to be. If they're not, they're fucking morons. Do you think they are? Yes, they have to be. I if hope they're so. not, I would be very disappointed. I I mean That's I feel like listen I I think like. I'm cool with both of them sleeping with a ton of chicks because they're up front that they're like not like, you know what I mean? They're not. No, no, it's game. OK. It's, it's okay. OK, but you don't need to but be in the same room. It's just you weird. Know, like so weird. being right next to each other. So I don't know. Weird. I find it absolutely. I thought of a so. dating. Um, Polly D should be the bachelor and <gasps> everybody comes and yes. leaves in a cab. And oh at gosh. the end, at the end, if they don't get picked that week, he yells or all the girls yell cabs here. And then the girls leave. Oh my Wouldn't God, that be hilarious? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They come in a cab. They yes. leave in a cab. Yes. And as a group, everyone chants at the end, cabs here. And everyone leaves. The losers have to leave after that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We need to, like, somebody, no one steal this idea. We need to approach MTV. Sorry. So you know, smart. It's genius. He's the genius. perfect bachelor. He's respectful. He's the cutest. He's attractive. He's rich. He looks like he smells good, you know? Doesn't he look like he smells good? He looks yeah. showered and clean all the time. I give him credit for that. They take care of themselves, for sure, when it comes to, like, the body products and stuff. Yeah. And the love how they be... rip on each other. They're so open about everything. It's yeah. really, like, a family. He would be a great person because yeah he's he has a great job right he's like he's got the money he's and got after the kid. yeah it would be great but after they dropped the girls off in the elevator were they like we don't have a number don't call us or something is that what they were saying to them i think so but then they were saying but then then they're like touching each other i'm like i hope they like washed up and everything before they're like shaking hands and stuff it's just gross it's really gross i don't know there's it, just what, something to, to me, know about like every single second you know someone's screwing it's just gross i don't know i agree i think that's behavior that should not be happening at their age at all if ever like not cool yeah, I think it's going to be a good season. I think uh, it's I think fun. The yeah. The girls are the kind of the most boring part. Like, I need a little bit yeah. more. From yeah. Them. Need to get Their better. life is different. You know, they're just there's only two of them now. And they're it's just like it's hard for them to have this show because they're just so different now. Yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah. And but, poor Jay. Wow. You can tell something's just on her mind. It's just sad. Kind why of doesn't to watch she her. ever show her eyes? Like she's either in glasses or she's in sunglasses. Like why doesn't she ever yeah. get contacts? I don't understand. There's something up with her. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I hope yeah. her and Roger stay married. They seem like they like each other. I think they will. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. So we'll be we'll keep we'll keep you guys posted about Jersey Shore. It I love was it. interesting. It's gonna be good. For it was sure. two hours though. I don't need two hours. I really don't. I could. They could have just done two weeks. Yeah. I had to rewatch the last hour. I Actually, need two I hours of 90 day. Fee- um, so we're going to move into Bravo. It's time for our Bravo. Bravo. All right. So let's get started with our Bravo breakdown. Um, we're going to start with Shaw's. I know you didn't watch Shaw's, but I just have to say, I think we should dedicate our, <laughs> our podcast episode. Aww. Just what they would want to MJ's dad who finally passed away. Um, oh, who seemed MJ. like the sweetest man. Um, Reza told a story during the episode that he was the first adult that he came out to. Wow. Um, and that he said it was like he told him that the that the the color of his shirt was blue, that it was just like so cool. And he accepted him. Um, and so most of it was about that's sweet um, their relationship. Um, and I'll kind watch of, it for sure. Yeah. Them coming together. It was very sweet. I think the sh- thing that I like about Shaw's that is different from all the other Bravo shows is that well similar maybe to Vanderpump I don't even think Vanderpump like they are true friends who've been friends for a really long yeah. time yeah and they it's have just history. Evident, that's why it works you know? yes like Reza Reza MJ and Mike was so sweet they go with um MJ to try on wedding dresses after her dad died and M- you know Mike just talks about how much like 
he told her dad on the deathbed he would take care of MJ and he like he said like I will never MJ's my girl like they were kissing her while she was crying and just holding her and it was just like so sweet oh my god um, it is a real f- they're real friends yeah they're real like friends. that's why her like her and Gigi yeah. even though they like hate each other they're yeah. still like together because like sisters it's weird yeah it's so sweet um the only other thing I would say out of this episode that's not related to MJ's dad um is Nima the new guy with the creepy sister um always orders rosé he is a rosé drinker like all uh-huh. he orders is rosé how do you feel about a man so would, if you went on a date with a man and he was like and he <laughs> ordered rosé yeah I was I like would what's your like... drink of choice and he's like rosé what would you do <laughs> I would say, what's your like? What Are you would a I top say? Or a bottom? I would say, <laughs> Are you top or a bottom? <laughs> I would genuinely say, if a guy drink rosé, I would say, do you suck dick too? That's probably what I would say exactly to him. <laughs> you know? Wait, and then that so- would be like, that would be like, you know, if he can take that, then he's my guy. If he can't, like Tyler could take that, you know. If he I would was, laugh, see if, if Tyler I- it, Tyler's drink is a margarita, you know, and I probably would, I probably said that to him on our first date and. <laughs> And he probably just laughed, you know, yeah. so that's the type of person I need. I'm different with a glass of rosé and like saying like rosé is your drink, right? Like all you drink is rosé. I feel like that's, that's a creepy. Problem. No, that's right. a problem. I would make fun of them every single time. Yeah, it's I a girl agree. drink. A hundred percent. And I'm sorry we're being gender normative, but it is what it is. There's some things in life that, you yeah. know. Okay. So that's yeah. all I have to say about Shaw's. Um, I think it's just it's beautiful to see a true friendship um, on a show on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, watch Shaw's. I think it's, it's sad. Like literally Shaw's I can't is a great TV it. show. It's amazing. Yeah. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll skip this episode. Cause no, it's I think you sad. should watch I don't it. I don't want to be I mean, sad. Okay. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. It's good. So we're going to wrap up New York, um, to talk a little bit about the reunion. New York housewives ended this week. Uh, well, I guess it's still going technically if you count the reunion, but, um, it they is... all looked pr- pretty good. You know, I, I, it was an interesting reunion. I know people, I know there's a ton of backlash because people really, really, really strongly believe that Andy definitely kind of catered the whole thing to Bethany, let her talk more. Yeah, but he did. You know, kind of prepared it, softballed it for her, so. I have to say, I think what I loved about this was that they all looked, visually, it was, like, easy to watch because they were all in the same colors. You remember we talked about this. Like Bethany looked I really enjoyed- good. The best oh, I've she- ever thought she looked, you know. She I even amazing. said yes on a survey on Twitter that she looked good. Like, I was surprised with myself. I That's the best she's ever looked. I like her hair up with her. She looked very soft, the softest she's on ever purpose. looked to me. On purpose. Yeah, that's sick. That is she- sick. She did it on purpose. That whole look to me, like she's never like that worn, whole princess. She's never worn something no. like that in her whole life. She's never worn a ball gown. I've never okay. seen her. In- but I think the theme of the episode was attacking Bethany for sure. Um, and like, I would agree with what most people are saying. And I don't really have a problem with it because I know they're friends. But like, Andy was a hundred percent defending Bethany, and like, he should her- be a little bit more Switzerland fair. when it comes to doing yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So he shouldn't be so obvious about it. I know people are freaking out, but he's yelled at everybody before. He's yelled at Atlanta. He's yelled at everybody, don't you think? Or do you think he's singling out? People are like saying, "Oh, he's yelling at." He wouldn't yell at other people like that, or, or I can't. Well, she was. Are you talking about when he was yelling at Ramona? And he was like, "Shut the fuck up, so I can hear." Her, you know, hundred percent. She was being annoying as shit. I couldn't. I couldn't stand that. Whole he situation. screamed before. Yeah. Um, I have to mention that Carol. They asked about her stylist and if she really wore an outfit from Beyonce. Evidently, that white thing she, she wore. She stumbled on that. Yeah. Well, oh, I thought it was what, the black thing. I thought it was the black overlace thing. Oh, okay. You heard what she said. She said, well, I think Beyonce yeah. tried it on. Sampled it and tried it. Yeah. No, but I then, wonder what else no, that no, no. means. But then she says... Uh huh. Well, it's stretchy. Like trying to imply that, like, what that Beyonce is fat or some shit. Yeah, or or just that people can obviously say like you are like a Lego and Beyonce. You know, like Whatever. how are you sharing clothes with Beyonce? Beyonce to me, you know, she's just a beautiful woman. I can't, she would fill that dress out the way it should be filled out, not the way that Carol made it look like a hospital gown. I'm sorry. It looked and horrible. Don't say you wore something Beyonce wore. She tried. Don't it even on. bring like, Beyonce in your mouth. She didn't yeah. wear it. She tried it on and said, "This is ugly," and let some housewife wear this, and then you got it. You know, <laughs> oh, that's so true. Um, or somebody lied to you and said Beyonce tried it on. You know, it's just so dumb. Yeah, it's I. Yeah, I think um, the other thing that I thought was hilarious was they asked Sonia if she was a vegan. 
and she described it as a <laughs> vegan pescatarian. She she said, well, I recently realized that if you eat oysters, you're not a vegan. I'm like, the fuck? She's, I mean, she's hilarious. She's um, on a different planet. I just love her so much. And, whatever uh, diet she's her. on, whatever diet she's on, whatever she's doing, I want it. She looks amazing. Like for her age, she's it's like a amazing. mix of happiness, money, yep. facials. So true. Denial. Yeah. All mixed you know, into one. Yeah. Just get a little yeah. bipolar in there. You know. I oh, love her also, so much. I forgot that Ramona, before they even started filming, required the couches to be moved. Did you see this right when the episode oh, started? Oh, my God. She's amazing. Oh, She's nice. got power, man. I nice. hate Dorinda's hair. Dorinda oh. this season, I used to really be a champion for Dorinda. She really soured on me. Agreed. I, I, I hate hated, her hair long. I didn't like yeah. it either. I think that the other thing she I She looked like, the worst. The worst dressed. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, actually, I didn't hate her dress, but the hair is just not a good look. I hated it at all. Yeah. It's that ugly middle part, you know, where it's like flipping out oh, on the sides. It's just too long. Yeah. Carol Brady. Dorinda. So they have a conversation. The only other big thing that I got out of the reunion, um, uh, the drinking conversation about Dorinda's drinking. And this is when I kind of felt like I was on the side of Bethany. Like everybody else was suddenly defending Dorinda. Like she doesn't potentially have a drinking problem. Like she definitely when she gets wasted, it's an issue. And for people to act like like Bethany was out of line for that, I thought was kind of ridiculous. And Dorinda's only a, a handcuff away until it's her. You know, she just loves to look down on him. Something's going to happen that or maybe she nothing will ever happen. But I mean, that's definitely why she was wearing that boot, you know. Well, she's in denial, like acting like the Puerto Rico. The night she's before rude. they went to Puerto Rico, yeah. I literally and then, had to fast forward. It made me. It was hard to watch, and it's hard to sit through that whole season, it and was. it's hard to think about her and the way that she just like rubs it off is just no big deal. It's just sickening and saddening, and the fact that she didn't know who the guy was that she insulted the next day. They said, and she said sorry to the wrong person. So funny. <laughs> And then people are saying that she was set up, that she wouldn't have drank so much. It's like, that's, that's your whole life story. You wouldn't drink so much, know. you know? Yeah. yeah, I think, I mean, it's it's obvious to me that maybe, like, she drinks, when she drinks too much, I'm not saying she has a drinking problem, because I'm not trying to accuse people uh, of anything. I think but, she's on the verge, yeah. But when you every drink single much and act Every like single asshole. thing, she's, and that's probably why she naps, because she probably drinks a morning cocktail yeah. naps drink yeah. and sleeps at night i guarantee you there's like a lot more to the story and oh, because definitely. she's so defensive the way she was with luann what are you fighting about because she yeah. said you're turning you're ruining yeah. your whole friendship over that I you're know. really got your back up against a wall and that's how i see it yeah you're right i think there's a lot of stuff we're not seeing on camera for like sure like they haven't but... talked they broke up pretty much because of one comment like that it's crazy yeah, yeah it is crazy what else? Uh, Tinsley wasn't really, I don't know. Tinsley didn't do anything for me. So I guess what's her face? Scott bangs other people when they're not together. I, I can't believe he gets that many people. I guess money gets you everything. Money. Yeah, it's money. Money money, and just like as you get older, the pool's smaller, right? So like a single man with money, it's all. It's yeah, and now, now they're saying that Jill Zarin's boyfriend dated Bethany, or not Bethany, Ramona. Oh, was that what Ramona was saying? She went on like five dates with him or something? And she wasn't ready for a relationship. It's Man, like, Manhattan is? is a small place. Everyone wants a piece of Ramona. Everybody. Um, oh, yeah. And so Jill and Bethany, it sounds like they're cordial now, which I think opens the door for Move Jill being her back in. on the show. Come on in. Replace Carol with Jill. and this Move will be the on ultimate. in, Jill. Come on, baby. I want to see it. It's going to be great. I really hope it happens. It's the too. only solution. It's the it only solution, be. Bravo. I don't want to meet anybody else. I don't either. Okay. On a side note, real quick, if anybody yes. has seen us on Twitter, Geneva broke the news, which I did not see, that Potomac would screw with the perfect cast oh, okay. and add Katie. Who cares about Katie? I agree. I Honestly, I forgot she was even on the show. That's how boring she was. <clears throat> Terrible. It's an insult. We do I not agree. need her. No. It's a waste of space. Agreed. Who are they going to bump for her? Better not be Candace. Because yeah, Candace has a way more important storyline. Sorry, I need to know what happens. Agreed. Agreed. I think that's a terrible decision. Whoever All right. Thought of that sorry. We're going to no. keep going. So on. No, I don't think I have anything else for New York. You I know, think, New York. Um, I'm interested to see the next one, I guess. You know, we'll I'm see in. what happens. I think it's been so how did you feel about the season overall? I feel it was like an all time classic for me. I thought it was amazing. It was great. It was amazing. I. I just love it. 
I mean, it's so when much you fun. think about like the Halloween party, Luann and blackface. <laughs> you think about yeah, and Luann. they really stuck up for her with that. I wish Luann was at the reunion. Me it would have just been so different. Me it was too. just so much more low key. It was sad to see Bethany sitting there knowing that her boyfriend's going to be dead in a few weeks. Oh, it's just God, creepy, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it was a great season. I had, <laughs> I, I was the most entertained of maybe any Housewives this year. I think. I just don't. Yeah, I think they should bring Jill in. Jill yep. and Tinsley could get along great. I could see them getting along and being friends. That takes place of Carol. Boom, we're back in it, you know? I would love that. Come on, Bravo, bring her back. I think it'd be so good. And she's dying to be on TV. Why I'm not, dying. though? Why? Why not? It's got to be. She's I think not for- bad like Brandy. No, I'll tell like, you. I don't want to see Brandy back. I think before it was Bethany controlled it and she wasn't allowed. Oh, why billions. does Bethany have that much? Because she's worth billions of dollars and she's on a reality show. <laughs> wow. I I, like if Bethany was gone, I'd still watch the show. It'd still be great. No, I mean, I would still watch it, too. But I think she adds like her. God, I think great. You know, I think it's Ramona. That would be miss. Would you'd miss most. Yeah. Yeah. They're and all Sonia. Good. They're, uh, they're so great and see Luann they tried to bump her ass down and she clawed her way back to the top didn't she I thought you know I have to say even though she was a mess this season I really enjoyed her I thought I liked her more than I ever have in any season really other than um, yeah, and I'm pissed I didn't go to her cabaret show when it was in LA so I'm gonna have to really check that out it'll be fun I thought that cabaret show looked terrible. That, that's like I my gotta nightmare. get there. I Interactive gotta get there. Theater is my nightmare. I don't want. Yeah, do it's wild, but it's an. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I gotta check it out. I'll I check it out. I can see you getting us. super into it. I'll check it out for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Check out and report back. Um, it's, okay, it's so let's. Alley. We'll talk about the part two of the reunion. But if it loses us after part two, we're out. I still don't think reunions need to be three parts. Okay, I don't know what they're parts? going to talk about for three parts without Luann. What are they talking about? I uh, think we've covered it all. I don't care about Carol and, and Bethany that much. What are we going to uh, talk I wanna, about? I want to see that fight, though. I think no, I do want to see the fight, but like the two more episodes of it? I don't know. I know. What are they going to cover? Agree. There still wasn't a main reason. Yeah. So this was my countdown. I, I did real quick of who I okay. thought looked, well, I guess who looked the prettiest in my okay. eyes. Okay. Bethany, yeah. Sonia, Tinsley, Ramona, Dorinda, Carol. Okay, I would agree with that. I think I would move. I would flip flop your two and three. Tins to number two. Wow. I just didn't. I I love the beehive. I, I loved it, it but <laughs> I don't like. Yeah, it. you yeah. hated it. <laughs> I, I loved it. It was, it. It was I a lot. It. it was too much for me. See, that's. Much. I would wear that. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to move on to Real Housewives of Dallas. Um, okay, so it starts, it picks back up at Leanne. No, not Leanne. What's her name? Deandra. At Deandra's anniversary party. Okay, okay, so okay I give I them six months. Okay. okay. This is my question. You didn't actually, you guys got, in, you got hitched without a wedding. Yeah. But for those of you out there who have planned a wedding and lived in the hell like I have, I do not understand why you would want to throw an anniversary Four years party later? Every year. Well, every... No, they do it every year. They do it every year. Do they wants, really? Yes, that's what she said. Who that's wants to so throw a wedding? That's so narcissistic. Who gives a shit? Well, more importantly, who financially wants to throw a wedding every year? They had... They were flowing the alcohol. They had a full wedding cake. Like, what the How fuck? do they have that much money? How much I lotion are they selling? I know. Where is it for sale? What is it? Uh, what yeah. are they doing in the office all day? I don't know. I, and those uncomfortable clothes. <laughs> Who wants to sit in those clothes all day? Yeah, I agree. No, though. I thought it's weird. I would stop going. I would say, I love you, Geneva, but why I'm would, done celebrating wait, your love wait, wait, every year. Wait, why, you know? wouldn't, why wouldn't you go? I would go. I'm saying I don't want to be the I one guess throwing I would the go. party. It's a free party. It's bizarre, though. It's bizarre it after a while. It gets old, like... A year start to fly by, and it yeah. seemed like it'd be a month ago, and I'd be like, oh, it's their anniversary again? Yeah. F them. I don't care. You know, almost. I don't know. I get bitter. I think it's just bizarre. Yeah, I, I don't know how much longer it's going to go on. The husband's losing interest. I can just tell. I can feel it. They're losing. No, I don't She's... think so. I didn't Oh, see you that. don't feel that I, way? I feel okay. like he's super. I would not be shocked yeah. if they got divorced. Um, okay, okay so I thing. feel very super passionate about these people. I okay. honestly might put like a, um, some money down that they're gone done within a year. Oh, my God. I don't really? think they make another season. Deandra and the husband. I don't know his name. You think they're a year? 
I don't, I don't know. Okay, we'll see. I just okay. there's uh, shit. Uh, it, the whole situation is weird. You the, don't uh, have you don't have parties like that every year. I agree. It's it's crazy. You um, don't at the party. She said, "Have a birthday party." Is that not enough? Yeah, I don't get it. So at the party, Stephanie and Leanne sit next to each other, and she I guess she did it on purpose. And this is where it kind of gets heavy. I don't really want to talk about it much because it's very sad, but they both admit that they had attempted suicide before. And for Stephanie, I found that very surprising. Um, I had no idea that she she just seems like such a light, bubbly person to me, and I guess you just never know. Wild. If somebody's depressed. Wild. I was shocked. Yeah. I was you know, too. She's like got such a beautiful... She's just, it's insane. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have to say, though, at that event, she looked absolutely gorgeous. Like, I thought her I eye makeup, know. she looked like a million She bucks. is beautiful. She's one she of the really prettiest is. housewives there is. Man. I think she that is. That little Oompa Loompa really scored. <laughs> Didn't he? I know. Well, he's, he's, look at that freaking house they live in. They're both winning. Um, oh, my God. I would marry that Oompa Loompa in a second for all that money. Oh, oh my, my God. God. That, that house, house is gorgeous. Next level. Um, Housers. And so the other part of the episode, so they have the party. Everybody gets, oh, Stephanie gets absolutely wasted, which was hilarious. And then, um, yeah, okay, 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 yes, we need to yes. talk about this. Okay, okay, do you know where I'm going? No. With when, okay, I thought it was really weird that Deandra put um, Leanne and Rich on the spot and said that they got to get married. It, Rich's oh. face turned so red. Okay. Why is he wearing a patch? What <laughs> happened to him? She looks like she's aged 10 years. Okay. I don't understand what was going on there. It was so uncomfortable. They needed to nip it in the bud after he was about to pass out and die. I mean, it was the most uncomfortable thing I've ever just, seen in my life. <laughs> okay, so the eye patch. So she says like he has like he's lost eyesight in one eye and she says this while they're driving. I didn't think you could drive if you only need one eye. He's what? driving them. So to he's the wearing party. a patch. Is there no other solution? No, his eye's fine. Is he like he is he could... gonna wear a patch forever? Yes. She said he's just wearing the patch. Okay, I could I'd cut the relationship. <laughs> That's where I draw the line. I draw it at a patch. Because his eye's not deformed, it's just he's blind. So like it doesn't it doesn't visually look any different. He has like to his... wear a patch forever. It's so holy stu- crap! By choice? No, no, no. By choice. Like it's not. Um, he's not doing it. That's weird. The told That's him to. weird. Weird. And also, so Deander said. Not. I don't know, but Deander I find, said. I would be when, sad. Um, did you notice how when she puts him on the spot to get married, she says, um, she says something like, you know, when two couples who are engaged don't get married for a long time you know something's up and it is so true i think if you go over two years honestly being engaged and you don't get married something there's a red flag for sure yeah you just gotta bite the bullet well i mean no that that just means they got engaged because <laughs> it got so awkward that yeah, they, that had they to just do did that. it just to get and engaged then, yeah course, and they're not meant to not, get married yeah. yeah they should just wait until they hate each other long enough and boom yeah. you don't have to get divorced um, yeah, I think so. I think, um, and then they go to, Deandra. they shouldn't get to, I, I wouldn't, uh, Leanne, honey, I think the patch is, it's okay to say, I, I gotta go, honey. Well, see just, you later. How about just take off the fucking patch? You don't have to wear it. Like, I don't get it. It's weird. It's me or the patch. Right. Me or the patch. Right. Okay. Moving on. Um, Deandra and her mom. I can't get over it. I mean, are battling. Are. <laughs> Tyler Deandra. comes and says, I gotta wear a patch. I say, fuck you. You are not wearing a patch. I'd rather you crash into a tree and die before you wear a patch. All right, sorry. Are you done That's with your crazy. patch? That's crazy. All right. Okay. All right. Um, Deander and her mom. So they work together at at what is it called? Something Living. Um, I've never. I, I should look this thing scam, up. Scam, scam, and living scam. I don't know. Where okay, so we're just scamming best. you to the bank. Uh, yeah. Um, a her mom is seventy seven. She says must be for sale somewhere. I don't know. Her mom's face and makeup is like a real situation. It's like next level. The way the way that she says to her daughter, you know, mothers and daughters are just notoriously jealous of each other. Crazy. Sad, right? And especially when one is beautiful, like talking about herself. Like, I felt like the mom. Was it? Was she talking about the do- Was she saying Deandra was pretty or she was pretty? I, I couldn't tell. She was saying she was pretty. Like, That's you're jealous sick. of me. That it's is so sick. sick. It's sick. She's a fucking weirdo, man. And and Deandra said her mom controls her inheritance and her access to the business. Oh, she's like, going to fuck her. Essentially all of her She's going to fuck her. She's she going to die. And she's going to fuck Deandra. I think and it's going to be. Deandra's I mean, got to go. 
I think. I don't you know. Don't, I think you like the. I, I like good. I yeah. like the battle I like of her, her but, and her yeah. mom. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. It just makes it's too real. I guess it just makes me s- nervous. But yeah, it is very real. It's getting into like um, New Jersey territory. With exactly. That's yeah. how. That's 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 where it's going, and Definitely. it's getting heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's why I think the marriage is gonna break up. I think there's a lot of shit going on. That party was way too fucking fancy. So fancy. Um, the other thing that I just had to comment on, um, was that Leanne, there's this scene with Leanne where she's doing a dressing, uh, designing a dress. Uh, I, I don't <laughs> even understand what was going on there. So she comes out, it's like the standard black strappy dress. And oh, I like, did like the ruffle one, but oh, she like, did you feel like it? So then she comes out and there's like ruffles along the sleeves and she's like, it's an entirely different dress. <laughs> like, it was cuter, but I mean, I liked it. Well, like it a, was the same fucking dress. Taste, you could but... tell it was the same dress. Could you she not? She thinks that, oh yeah. And then she's like, people are going to, they're going to reverse it and tuck it and put snaps on it and zipper it no, up here no, and tuck no. it here. It's like, nobody's going to do that. They're going to lose the attention. Attachable parts, <laughs> and all it's going to be is a simple little black dress. You're so right. That's exactly There's what no way. to me. Yeah, you're not keeping two sleeves and a train and a fucking. It would be like, gone. It, yeah. yeah, one no. night drunk, you throw that shit oh in the trash. God, you're like, course. I'll never wear this again. Well, she said the dress is her legacy, so we wish her luck. <laughs> yeah, your legacy of nothing. Why don't you go design some carnival you know eye when, patches? When, oh my god, when she said she was gonna, she wants to be on QVC. That's one thing I could literally see the QVC crowd. They love like a convertible item. She needs you know? to be on QVC. She would do great. Of course. No wonder she li- she's okay with the eye patch because she grew up in Carney Land. That she probably like god, grew up with so an eye patch right. person. You're so right. Um, she I lost mean, her virginity to an eye patch man. It brings her back. You're, you're probably right. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing sells better on QVC than like an item with 76 uses. Like, you know, that one bridesmaid's dress everybody had that's like, y- you can wear it 3,000 ways. Like, that's what she's you trying to do. You can wear cross uh, razorback. Um, yeah. You can do T Halter. Yeah. Halter. You can do one strap. You can do that's like the same thing. Horrible. Um, I do have to say that I know we talked about Shaw's like MJ and um, Reza being true friends. I feel like Brandon They're and Stephanie. So sweet. Brandon know. and Stephanie are two friends too. I'm so like happy the party, they came back together. I know too. the party that so Stephanie throws a party because Brandy adopted a baby. Um, we haven't talked about the baby adoption. What do you think? I think it's adorable. It's sweet. Yeah, I think it's sweet. I love it. And Brandy seems so happy. You know. Isn't it crazy to find a redheaded baby though? Like I that feel is like wild. That is crazy. it is wild. You know that is know a redheaded yeah. infant. You know, and uh, yeah. it was sweet. I was happy for them. Yeah. Um. So she throws him. They throw. And it's a boy. You know, it's so a boy. She yeah. She Bruin, boy. like the UCLA Bruins. Weird That's, name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, but whatever. It was cute. Bubbles and brew. I thought that was cute. Yeah, so she throws an amazing party. I just think that was like, they're so sweet. And I think they may be the most, one of the most real friendships on Housewives, right? What do you think is more like they authentically really love each other and have been friends for a long time? Yeah, I I think they genuinely, like, I think that's yeah. why the show works. You know, they yeah. found a gr- good group of friends. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't think of any others other than like Jersey people, but they all ended up breaking up, which is sad, you know, like yeah, very Jacqueline sad. and Teresa were good yeah. friends, you know. Yeah, um, I have to comment. Leanne's outfit at the shower was absolutely hideous. What the fuck was that? She was wearing like a long, bur- like fake hair extension with like purple ends. And I red. don't even. She was looking hag this whole episode. She Not was good. looking good last season. Now this season, she's looking like like a seventy five year old art teacher. Yeah. From um, how do you I feel about know. Carrie? Do you? Like I hate Carrie. Carrie. I, I wish like she was off either. the show. And the husband might be a little bit more likable right now, but they're depressing. Every single scene that they have depresses me. I don't want to watch it. I don't care. I don't want, I don't think she has a personality. I don't want to watch it. I'm done. Yeah. Go, go put fake tits in. go do whatever. Go laser off some moles. I don't care. I don't want to watch it. Well, I think also her, um, her selling point for most seasons has been her conflict with like Leanne and stuff. And if that's not there, she's going to be so boring because there's nothing really. She's just not likable to me. I don't know. I feel bad. I just don't really like her. Yeah. Um, the line of the episode for me was uh, Stephanie, when she was wasted at the anniversary party, said, I'm like tequila sure when they asked her if she was sure about something. And I thought that was great. Because <laughs> there She's is so your cute. own. They're adorable. I really like them. Yeah. I, I really do. And I the do best friend, the, br- the husbands are best friends. So it is really sweet. 
thing, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think I think that um, Cameron. I still don't really know about Cameron. I think she's entertaining because she's so she preposterous. Is. But I wouldn't want to actually yeah. interact with her. No, I wouldn't want to have to hang out with her. But I like watching her, and she's and her tiny fun husband. to look at. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. Cameron yeah Cameron was like pissed at the party she was like you should greet your guests that's just something you do in the south I'm like what the f- like, get a down. life get it you life. were greeted by a glass of champagne what more do you need that's all the oh, greeting yeah. I ever need. you're at a party get a life come on yeah, yeah. Like, glass of champagne on. I'd rather right. have that than talk exactly. to you come on yeah exactly. I need a glass of champagne <laughs> yeah I need a glass of champagne to talk to you so Jeez. give it to me and then find me later um yeah but I think I don't know. It looks like next week they're going on a trip somewhere, so it should be uh, a good episode. Anytime you get them all in one place. Oh, yeah. I love good. trip episodes. They sh- their too. whole season should just be a trip. It would be fun. Oh, that'd be great. You have any other uh, Dallas thoughts? <sighs> I like the show. You know, I just, uh, I really would like to know how Deandra and them are so damn rich. I and what they're selling, where I can get it. I should just look it up on the website, on the big web. The w- w- The worldwide web. But... <laughs> It's interesting. I'm I'm excited. They're fun to watch, you know, and uh, they like to get shitty and party and be crazy. So, yeah, agreed. The, the baby's cute and it seems like a fun season. So, yeah, I'm yeah we'll it. be keeping up with that. So well, we'll talk um, about it next anything time. else on Bravo I can think of right this I mean, second. I watched Below Deck, but it was kind of a blah episode. I don't really have anything. Below Deck. Uh... It was so sweet with the parents that came to surprise him. Oh, my God. Can we, I think that's all we need to say. It was the most adorable thing I've ever seen. He's so sweet. And my kids better cry like that. You know, what a sweet kid. Okay. I have to say, though, and this could be wrong. I felt like he was crying a little too much. Like he, for an it, it took him. I think it just took him by surprise so much, I guess. Okay. It, it was a little odd. I don't know if I would cry like that so much. I probably would be like, why the fuck did you come here? <laughs> you know, right. so it'd be You're different. You're embarrassing but, me, Mom. Why are you here? I'm on TV. Right. You know, or, you know, that that would be like 12 year old Justine or something. But yeah, yeah, um, it was funny. It was sweet. It was a little bit. It was a little. Uh, yeah. Oh, OK. Well, intense. actually, it's if like, you OK, want... cut the tears, dude. Get it together. You're, you're on camera right now. Right. It was a little too much. Um, I have but Adam did step up his game with the food. The last episode, I do have to say that he gave him a good spread without them really having to ask for it. OK, well, I have to say this. I noticed the brunch. So this is this is my new rant. So we've talked about the salads for brunch. If I'm having brunch on a yacht, I do uh-huh. not want you to like give me toast like you notice he has a bunch of burnt toast on the table yeah yeah toast is a big thing on their menu basic eggs like give me a fucking quiche give me a yeah benedict like yeah give me something decorated with fruit and confectionery sugar i need something delicious give me some like um something potatoes baked with bacon and nasty shit that's gonna just make me fat yeah i just want to eat like a fat person 24 7 me too especially on a freaking yacht like i want opulence. i want like everything on the cheesecake menu like on a yacht level on the table that's the what i want cheesecake menu that's a massive menu. like like take the cheesecake factory like hot uh, like some delicious items from their yeah. brunch menu just yep. like like revitalize it to make it fancy like a yacht and give that to me and that's what yeah. i want like hot like gravy and and uh fresh biscuits um baked that morning um you know something like freaking to blow my mind you know i agree i agree but he has improved um, I think for sure overall with the food, especially when they flash back to last season, I think he has improved. But he my has, question is, yeah. why can't they just get a chef that's great, like really good already? I don't uh, know why, why we, we have keep to wait doing for someone over to improve. And over. Yeah. And I liked how Hannah now is actually working. And oh, I have a question for you. Do you think Casey? So Casey's one of the stewardesses. Do you find her attractive? Some angles I do. Some angles I don't. You know. I, okay, that's I exactly. Find- I think yeah. sometimes she looks pretty and sometimes she looks terrible, like her hair she's color. She's definitely the girl that you see on Instagram. They're like, oh, my gosh, she's a 10. She's a 12. Holy yeah. shit, she's smoking. And you meet her, and she, and, and she probably sometimes is. But she's probably, like, you know, on average a 7. Her the hair, hair looks strange. orange. Yeah. It looks orange. Yeah, and looks like the extensions are going to... The extension glue is going to come out. Right. Oh, the other thing I have to say about Adam is when they were talking about, like, he never feeds the crew on time. Like, they are always eating. That would fucking piss me off. Feed them. You can just throw or order the pizza. Yeah. Captain Sand. 
he goes what is in pizza no he goes what could i do to feed you on time i'm like what you could do to feed you on time is fucking just feed, feed, feed us yeah us. make it's some not- or make some prep some food before and he right. or do something you got to worry about that they need to eat i would be starving doing all this manual labor yeah if i was what's his face jail oh god i worst. would be pissed yeah, I would so be so hungry. I, you're not making me work all day and not feeding me. If 11 p.m., I'd be dead. You'd find me on the on the yacht. See, yeah. I think that Joao and Hannah would be matched probably best together. They just don't realize it. Oh, you think? Interesting. In real life, you know, like they're both like uh, they're probably just too bullheaded. But yeah, yeah you know, um, I really can't wait for the new season to come on. That oh, they're in Tahiti. Wait. I saw. Oh yeah, it looks amazing. The trailer looks good. We got we got a uh, Captain Lee and uh, what's her face? What's her name? Eating by the Kate. waterfalls, Kate. Yep. She now she actually I think she's great. Yeah. And you know what? There is a pattern with Hannah and Adam ha- uh, yes. called it out, and yeah. I noticed that as well. Yes. You know, I and I agree. thought the last season as well. She took advantage of mm-hmm. what was her name? I loved her bugs. I name? liked her Bugsy. Yeah, Bugsy. She's I cute. liked her too. Yeah. Why not bring her back? I know. You know? Oh, I have to say the guest. <laughs> was he a magician? Or was he like a positive? What was he? Like, oh he was either a, God, he was a, a preacher freak. or a magician. Some he, was kind a, of like he was a scam artist. artist. He was a yeah. scam artist for sure. Yeah. Yeah. We, we both <laughs> thought the same thing. Yeah. That's he, so funny. The best. Actually, my favorite thing Hannah's ever, ever said is she said, if I hear one more positive affirmation, I'm going to shoot myself in the head. Oh, my and God. It's so stupid. Can you imagine I, being married to him? I, I mean, just, she probably just is like, shut the fuck up after oh. a while. <laughs> right. The wife. She's probably just black out all the time so she doesn't have to listen to the bullshit she's just getting her period she's like fuck you fuck you and your positive affirmations and you know he he would respond with like you know that this is just a natural process of the anger showing you that what what they have to offer you as mother earth and and being a woman anger anger panger changer means you gotta be better to yourself and you'll feel calmer Read I my book that. for fifteen ninety nine on Amazon. You saw like as they were walking off, they're like, "Oh my god, everything rhymes." Like, yeah, everything yeah, says. yeah. It's just um, like, oh my god, yeah. that guy is a scam artist. He's like, uh, um, what's his face? A um, Tony Robbins wannabe. Yeah, I don't. Uh, the other thing I have to say, I do not think I could live in those quarters like i couldn't you saw them like trying to get ready in a cramped no space it like looks that. so gross it looks stinky and then the person who's on the bottom bunk does the uh, person's stinky foot just touch their yes. their bed every time yes. no way jose i'm on yeah. the top i'm sorry keep your stinky foot away from me yeah i mean also i when they are getting ready having to like you know being a woman you know like getting ready is a process you're always like you're i don't hot, like it you're blow drying your hair yeah. it's a nightmare and you, i you, it looks like a i don't know yeah and then you're in this tiny bathroom doing it it's like oh god i, I would just be like you know what fuck it i'm not i'm not blow drying my hair I'm, you're not gonna get any makeup this is me and we're going because like it's not even worth it you, and, that's all i got for below deck it's a fun show it and is. it's wrapping up. It needs to wrap up. I'm done with the season. I'm done with Hannah. Don't bring her back, Bravo. There has to be someone better. Bring Bugsy. Please. Make Bugsy the chief stew. That yes. would be great. great. Yes. That yeah. I like Bugsy. Yeah, I did too. I know. I'm just done with Hannah. Please. I think what makes this show continually like walk- watchable is that every week there's different guests which bring their own shit. You know what I mean? So it's like it yeah. keeps moving. It doesn't get stagnant. Like if you had the same guest for 16 episodes, it'd be terrible. It'd be stupid. Yeah. yeah. It's a great. Yeah. It's a great show with yeah. the different guests because yeah, yeah. they pick. They do pick the people. Right. Yep. Um, yeah. So that's all we got uh, this time, folks. But we would really appreciate if you would rate us and write us a Ooh, review. on I rate us. So you got to rate us. Absolutely. Um, we're on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, all the places. We're also on Twitter at Escape Two Pod. Come check us out. We try to try to give you some hot live tweets um, during the week, and we are going to be back. Um, we're going to do a special, another special episode for Ninety Day Fiance before the ninety days. If you are not watching it, watch it. It's so good. Um, and then we'll be back so good. to talk about Bravo in the week too, and catch you up on all things Bravo. So. We are here yeah, we'll to back. please. So, yeah, um, please download us and all that fun jazz, and we'll be back soon. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a great weekend, my friend. Bye. Bye.